Come on. Come on, my sweet babies. Let's get y'all fed. So I can finish up Myra's little pasture over here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Come on, Rip. I don't know why Moo is falling behind over there. Come on, Moo. Oh, uh, Musaf had to get him a drink first. I bet you he comes running because there ain't no way. And he's going to stand back and let Rip and Annabelle eat all of his food. Come on. Here he comes. Maybe he'll just take his sweet time. Musaf's going to take his sweet time. He don't mind not get in a hurry he knows that i'm gonna hold some food back for him because he's a big guy he's gotta eat come on moo let's see after i pour after i pour so run i gave him a slightly larger stack i'm gonna save these in here because one of these guys are gonna finish before moose hey buddy hey buddy come here no, don't go over there by Annabelle. I want I want to love you. Annabelle, I'm sorry. That's my fault. Come here, Annabelle. Hey, hey, you two quit fighting. Why are you coming back now, Annabelle? Guys, why are you all coming to the same pile? Why are you all coming? There's another one over there. There's Musa, if you almost whacked me in the knee. Good boy. Why are you going to lick me here? Here. Rip, you're being mean. Here. That's the first one he's ever let me feed him out of my hand. That's good. That's good. Here you go. Here, Rip. Here, Annabelle, will you do it? No other cow moo won't even take it from my hand. Good boy. Good boy. That's how you gain trust right there. Food gains trust. That's how Lissa gained my trust. She just started feeding me. <laughs> she just started feeding me and it was on from there <laughs> good boy good boy don't worry i won't motorcycle horn you here good boy that's a good boy that's such a good boy here i'm gonna take one of these for me because me won't even take them out of my hand and he has all the trust in the world in me here here will you get this one or you just want to eat them off the ground Musa, i'm trying to give you a special one Musa, you take this from my Musaf, take this from my hand. He's not going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it. But this is cool. The rip's allowing me to do that. Uh-oh. Hey, little moose. Look out for that big guy. Your mom just gave you a bath this morning. Why are you brown? What, Moo, why'd you throw that at him for? <laughs> a bunch of wild cows here. Here, this is a special one. Good boy. Uh-oh. Here, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy, too. Hey, hey, quit licking me. Quit licking me. We're being good boys with Rip. Good boy. Hey, hey, no horning. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Stop it. You be sweet. Hey, that's my whole hand. This is not a cube. I am too good to eat cubes off the ground. Jake, you must come over and feed them to me by hand. And you better get Moose away because I will toss him across the pasture. Yes, I will. Yes, I surely will if he does not leave me alone. I am a big fella and I do not like to be messed with. Why do they both have that kind of accent? Annabelle's, oh, he's coming to me. Good boy. Let's see how close I can get. Let's see if we can get him right here. Right by my leg. Come here. He's coming. Good boy. Good boy, that's a good boy. He is a really good boy. Here, here. I like it that way, Jake. I don't have to bend over as far and hurt my back. Don't have to bend over and hurt my back. I'm a good boy. I really am. That Moses just really grinds my gears. I don't really like it when he's trying to mess. Ow! I just said you're a... Hey, now you, you done hit Annabelle. Quit trying to hurt. Quit trying to horn me. I'm trying to love it. I'm going back by Moo because you're being mean. You're being mean. Why are y'all, there's a whole pile right here. Annabelle, come on, baby. Come on, Annabelle. Come on. Come on, look here, baby. 
Look here. No. Uh, Moose, you might want to look out. Okay. You two can share. Okay. You two can really, really share. Moo, I told y'all that Moo would run out first. And if Moo runs out first, ain't nobody going to get nothing. Okay. There's some for you. Let's give a little bit more to rip. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. There you go. There y'all good. Hey, watch out. He's going to He's going to get you. Oh, my gosh, Moose. Don't be wild. All right, cows. I got to get to work for real. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Rip. Thank you for letting me feed you out of my hand. Musif, we'll work on it. Annabelle, fix your attitude. Moose, quit getting on the cow's nerves. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Y'all know what today is? That's right. It's April Fool's Day, and uh, Bree is not home. And if Bree's not home, and it's April Fool's Day, then that at least gives me a little bit of time to be able to go do a prank on her. So I called her. She's actually on her way home, so I don't have much time, but I do have a plan of what I'm going to do. But before I get to that, I want to tell y'all the greatest April Fool's joke I've ever played on Brienne. Okay, so we used to have a dirt pile right out there, like in the middle of the driveway. It was just a big pile of dirt, and Pop would use it for, I don't know, all kinds of things. Well, it turned out, like, it turned into being, instead of just a big dirt or sand pile, the cat saw it as a giant litter box. So everywhere you went in that thing, there was just mounds and mounds and mounds of, of cat feces, right? And so I had this idea. I went out there one day, and I found a big old pile, right? It was about this size, and uh, I took some dirt. I took some dirt in my hand, just like this. And I come over, and I very lightly, very lightly covered that pile of, of poop, right? And so then what I did is I walked around, and I found a stick. I'm trying to find a stick. We're going to use this for now. We're going to use this as our stick. And what I did is I come over, and I stuck the stick in there, right? And it's standing up just like this. And then what I did on top of the stick, I took a little leaf, poked a hole in it right over the stick, and so it kind of looked like a flag. And I went inside, and I got Bree. I was like, Bree, you gonna go dig for buried treasure out there in the sand pile? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go play. This is going to be so much fun. So I took her out there. I'm like, Bree, look, a flag, a flag. That must be where the treasure is. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> she runs over there all excited she starts digging <laughs> she dug all the way through it oh my gosh then she's just standing there like this <laughs> her hands are all covered in it i was just laughing my butt off i was grounded for about three weeks after that anyways uh we got a small prank to do to brie today so let's do it it's the most Wonderful time of the year When pranks are playing and Bree is not home And she's gonna be so mad But I have to get this bike wrapped up And if she pulls up while I'm doing this I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble But it's worth it this is hard. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Poor Bree. All right, we got Bree's bikes done. Um, got them all ready. I'm just trying to protect them from the dirt. If she asked, I'm just putting a protective layer on them to protect them from getting dirty or anything like that. I even did this one over here. <laughs> She's gonna be so mad. Bree's gonna be so mad, right, Moose? I'm blaming Moose. Everybody saw Moose out here. He was doing it. 
Do not blame me. And um, I'm sure you'll see the reaction video from Brienne whenever she gets home. Oh boy. This is not good. I tried to hang one across, going across her shed here, but it just dangled off. So whatever. She can deal with that too because I ain't taking it down. I'm not about to come out here and prank myself. <laughs> That's all for this one, guys. Y'all pray for me because she's going to probably hurt me when she gets home. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Come on. Come on. Where were you? Why are you running late this morning? Jake, I was just out on the other side of the pasture. I did not hear you call the first 19 times. Okay, you ready? Please don't knock me off this bucket. I know I probably shouldn't be sitting on your food bucket. I'm sorry you didn't see that. Here. You want to go up there with Moo and, Moo and Rip or do you want to stay back here by yourself? Baby, you think she should stay back here or go up there? Okay, okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, Annabelle, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Come on. We're going to bring you up here by me. But he is almost done with his pile, so we're going to give you just a little bit of space, okay? Just a little bit, but you can still eat with your family. Okay? Come on. Come on. Jake, I am so sorry. I will never be late again. I promise you. I promise you I'll never be late another day for as long as I live. Okay. Now we have to defend Annabelle. Because Moo looks like he's only got a couple little pieces left. And he's going to have to make a choice. Oh. He has abandoned his couple pieces. And he's going to go over and steal Rips. That means Rips going to go over and try to steal Annabelle's. Oh no. Oh no. Leave Annabelle alone. You've already gotten almost a full pot. Get in there with Moo. I see you shove them around all day. Good job, Moose. Oh, I thought you were trying to herd Rip away from Annabelle. You're just eating a cube. Those are not for dogs. So a lot of people have been asking, Jake, why are you feeding cubes instead of sweet feed? Don't you know they need that nutrients? Well, guys, cubes are not just blocks of nothing they're actually blocks full of protein minerals all the good stuff that cows need and unlike sweet feed they don't have all the sugary hey stop moose just trying to eat they don't have all the sugary stuff all the bad stuff that's for cows they have nothing but good healthy stuff so this is kind of like this is kind of like whole grain wheat bread as opposed to like white bread yeah i'm making fun of you what's it called no what's your bread called the killer killer dave's killer bread and it won't really kill you because it's so healthy but it doesn't taste too good and so what i've been i tried it one day i tried to buy the sweet feed and i come out here yeah the sweet feed is definitely better than the cubes for sure <laughs> okay i gotta get that taste out of my mouth i gotta go drink coffee you ready to go drink coffee do not eat a cube they are not good we also got some other things for the cows it's out in the truck and i'm gonna go get that and put that up for them today so they can get some more healthy minerals and all that good stuff that a cow needs in his life and uh, if you didn't know this, cubes are also good for dogs, apparently. Bye, guys. Have a great day.